So yesterday I had a thought that uh, popped up because I watched the aftermath of the two shootings of African American males this month. And that is, would you know all these protests really be happening if uh, all black neighborhoods and black communities were policed by just black officers? And I really, you know, in thinking that yesterday was um, becoming pretty convinced that if you just have cops that are the same race as the, you know, the so-called victims or the people who are getting shot, uh, you know, you would completely evade any type of critique or criticism or accusation of racism within the police department because it would be the, the race of the people killing those people. I mean, you know, if I remember correctly, white officers kill uh, other white people all the time. Now you could argue, oh, there's more whites in America, which I, I would say is probably the reason for that. But the point is, it happens more and you hear nothing about it. No protests, no outcries, no frustrations. You know, why didn't they kill somebody black? Uh, you know, just you never hear any critique of the number of whites being killed by other whites because it's established that a lot of times those people that are killed do things that lead to their demise and to some effect you know stealing robbing anything of that nature is uh, an instrument in what happens to them but nonetheless uh, in having that thought yesterday and kind of going oh I finally figured out how can we, uh, you know, how we are, we're able to completely evade any more of these protests? Because now blacks won't want to go after their own. Yeah, I figured it out. Oh, boy. As I was thinking that yesterday and getting all excited and, you know, getting ready to call um, the L.A. Times to report my miraculous discovery so I could have my picture in a history book in a few years. Um, I remembered that the officer who shot, I think it's what, uh, Scott? Let me look it up. I think it's Scott. Keith Lamont Scott, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, I got his name correct. I like how I knew you have to look and I knew it, but I just wanted to make sure. Because there's two of them, so I wanted to make sure I don't get them mixed up. Matter of fact, let me click that article. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got him right. So, you know, as I'm sitting here getting ready to report my miraculous discovery, I realized that the officer who shot Mr. Scott was also african-american and that detail was so important uh, that most of the stories included it and they include that detail because they were kind of uh, confused as to why BLM was protesting as was I uh, but you know in knowing that detail it led me to kind of walk back how miraculous this discovery was because I don't know for sure if that would even change this because they're still protesting this guy uh, his death as if it was you know the racist white officer which I don't even think it's been most of the time it's been a white officer most of the time I don't think they've been racist but that's another story uh, I mean I couldn't when I you know read the details of the story before learning more about the cop I couldn't believe he was black and you know all these protests were going on so it led me to two conclusions either a number of those protesters didn't know the cop was black, which I'd be inclined to believe because usually with a lot of these stories, they'll just say the person's name and Brentley could kind of pass for being uh, maybe a white name. I don't know. It, it doesn't necessarily, it doesn't just ring out African American to me like uh, the guy who shot um, Mr. Carr about what day was that? It was the... Um, one person during the night, the night of, okay, September 21st, that was three days ago, the guy who shot him was named Raekwon, and, you know, we have no picture of him, we have, uh, no audio of him, but we know he's black, just from that name alone, and, you know, if someone wants to go and say, oh, that's racist, you can't just assume somebody's something based on their name, I mean, if you hear the name, um, Hector, you're probably going to surmise the person is Hispanic. And again, if he's not black and they you know, pull up a picture of him, 
Mr. Uh, Raekwon, and he turns out to be Caucasian, I'll get on video and apologize, but the point I'm making is a lot of times when they see names like uh, Brentley, which, like I said, it's not a it's not a name I've really heard that much before. They might not know the cop is black, um, and you know they might have just taken to the streets after hearing one of ours was killed by the officer, who we know nothing else about except that he's racist towards his own race, um, and they go out and they start protesting and tearing and burning things down, and, you know, looting and acting uh, devious to some effect, but they never go and look that detail up. And if they are aware of that detail, which I'm kind of doubtful of, then what was the point of protesting? Because I, I heard distinctively from several defenders of uh, a few Black Lives Matter that they go out and protest when blacks are killed by cops and the usual argument is that these are the racist officers who are treating us unfairly and you know I review the details of the case and you know it's just I, if the black cop couldn't appeal to him I don't know who else could within that local vicinity I mean his own wife was you know basically trying to intervene in that and she still couldn't convince the guy to do otherwise so it's almost as if you're you're making this cop out to be this person that just has to babysit whenever somebody has some type of uh, issue with following an order. And I don't think the cop being white would have, you know, it probably made things worse, but you still have these massive riots. They've been going on for days now. And I can't understand why. We're, we're going into day four, and I still, what day was this? This was, uh, he got shot the 20th okay it's been four days it's Saturday it's September 24th 2016 I don't understand why uh, you know after four days of this you know aftermath of the shooting I'm still seeing people who act as if you know it's just the racist cops again when the guy is black himself I mean the only argument you can make towards me now is that he's one of those self-hating blacks which you know even then you have no basis to go off for that because we don't know anything about his record, about his past, other than, you know, he went to Liberty University, uh, got out of college apparently. What did over there, they just brainwashed him into believing that uh, he had to shoot other African Americans. The point I'm making with, you know, going into all of this is that you can't go and say that, you know, he is, he's racist because he's one of them and I think they'll try to make that argument even with the black cops policing thank you for watching and have a good day